Nottinghamshire Police have confirmed that a 31-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder after three people were killed in Nottingham City Centre early on Tuesday morning. The same individual is suspected of stealing a van and then running over another three people who are now being treated for their injuries, one of whom remains in critical condition. We know that a knife has been used in these attacks and two of the victims were students at Nottingham University. The third victim was the owner of the van that police suspect was stolen and used to run down those pedestrians. I know that the whole House will join me in expressing our sorrow and that our thoughts and prayers are with the victims' families, friends and all those affected. All of us extend the hand of friendship to the people of Nottingham. I'm, of course, being, fully kept, I'm being kept fully informed by law enforcement on the ground and receiving regular updates. Mr Speaker, the House will appreciate the critical importance of following due process at all times. It's completely natural to seek answers immediately when something terrible happens, but it's also vital that those answers are wholly accurate. Speculating out loud is never helpful and runs the risk of being counterproductive. The police have asked for patience while the inquiries continue, Mr Speaker. I can tell the House that the police are working flat out to establish the full facts and provide support to everyone affected. They are currently keeping an open mind as to the motives behind these attacks, but I can confirm Nottinghamshire Police are being assisted in their inquiries by counter-terror police, though this does not mean that it is currently being treated as a terrorist attack. I am grateful to all our emergency services for being on the scene and dealing in a professional manner with a deeply distressing situation. We all owe them a huge debt of gratitude. At awful moments like this, Mr Speaker, it is vital that we come together as a country, and I have no doubt that we will. The City of Nottingham and all its people are at the forefront of all our minds and every resource of the state is at their disposal.